All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to another Mog Monday. We need a Mog Monday theme song. That's what we need. Schemer, six month resale. Welcome back, my friend. We need a Mog Monday theme song. I'll have to work on that. Maybe I'll compose something. I can play music. I can play stuff. It's been a little while, a little rusty, but that's okay. So, Mog Monday, of course, the show where I play goblins every single Monday. Monkey, one year resub. Show some love and chat for Monkey. Thank you. And, uh,. Last week we tried basic pioneer goblins. Private Dirt, new sub. Watch anyway from welcome, my friend. Everyone wait until I start. Obviously, get your subs. I appreciate that. Um, last week we tried kind of basic goblins in on Mog Monday. You know, Goblin Ringleader, kind of just like your standard like board control uh, goblin deck. Sub JM. Uh, thanks for resub. Goblin and man. it didn't really work um, without Gem Bomb Incinerator, without Munitions Expert. The board control elements didn't really work, and we weren't, weren't really able to kind of control the game to get to our Goblin Ringleader late game, and um, it just didn't work out too great, honestly. The it just didn't really work. Basically, the deck just kind of sucked. Um, so there are other things I want to try, though. If uh, if traditional goblins is not going to work, there are a few other avenues to go. There is like the Ember Cleave, um, Goblin Pile Driver, Foundry Street Denison version of a deck. We'll do that next week. That one's a little simpler. I want it to be a little weird. And we're still... The format's starting to coalesce now. I'm a little sad because the format's starting to coalesce into a few top decks and the brewing is going to subside a little bit. But we can still brew. We can still brew. And uh, there was kind of like a mono-red Gate to the Afterlife, God Pharaoh's Gift, Goblin deck in Standard uh, when these cards were legal, as well as Skirk Prospector. And uh, Pioneer gives us quite a few extra elements as well. So what are we doing here? We're using the card Gate to the Afterlife to get God Pharaoh's Gift. Both cards have a lot of text. Let's read both of them. God Pharaoh's Gift itself is the big payoff. Uh, it is a 7 mana artifact. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, make a token that's a copy of that card, except it's a 4-4 black zombie, and it has haste. So every single turn, you get a 4-4 attacker that's a copy of the creature you get. So if you get... Uh, Copy an Instigator, you get a token. Copy a Siege Gang, get three tokens, and so on and so forth. And there's some cool combos with that we'll get to in a little bit. Of course, this card costs seven mana, so how are we going to put this thing in play? Well, we can just cast it, honestly. We have a few goblins in play and Skirk Prospector. It's not hard to just sack our board and cast God Pharaoh's Gift and then get back something immediately. Uh, this is the kind of card where if it's in play for a few turns, um, it's pretty powerful. Uh, infinite 4-4s four with abilities is pretty good. Our other path is the card Gate to the Afterlife. This is a 3-mana artifact. It says whenever a non-token creature you control dies, gain a life and then loot. And then you can pay 2 life and sacrifice it and just go get your God Pharaoh's Gift from anywhere. Hand, library, graveyard, wherever it is you can go get it. But you can only do this if there's 6 or more creatures in your graveyard. So of course it came with Prospector, uh, with our other goblins to sacrifice. We can sack Prospector for a red, Loot, discard, gain a life, crest another creature, keep keep kind of sacrificing things. Pretty easy to activate this. Um, probably not as early as turn three. Probably turn four is the earliest. I'm sure if you had a perfect hand with like multiple prospectors, you probably do it on turn three, but we'll say turn four, which is pretty good. Turn four, God Pharaoh's Gift, not too shabby. So that's kind of our God Pharaoh's Gift package. Now, we are looking to put cards in the graveyard as well as play goblins. Quick shout to Camp Cincinnati, our new sub. Uh, deck text ten ten dollars. I can do deck text. Uh, I can do uh, do deck text after this leak. So it'd be in about in about two and a half hours. Um, so a lot of our goblins sacrifice, which is obviously very good with Gate to the Afterlife, and as far as putting cards in the graveyard as well as triggering the uh, the death trigger here on Gate to the Afterlife. So we have Fanatical Firebrand. Sack to deal one to a creature, very good against Lana Elves, very popular card in the format. Insolent Neonate's one of the weirder cards of a deck. Not a goblin. Uh, not a goblin. Uh, but still good at getting cards in the graveyard. Uh, still a cheap creature. Plays well with Gate. So, for now, it's an honorary goblin. We'll, we'll see how well Neonate plays. Prospector, of course, is great. Um, Warp of Bomac Courier, also an honorary goblin. Um... Just a fine card. Our kind of like backup plan is just sort of like swarming, swarming with all of our stuff anyway. So this is a decent backup, backup plan and good against uh, against slower decks anyway. Um, Goblin Crater Maker, sacks to kill things, cool. We're playing this over uh, Ember Hauler because it can kill artifacts too. Uh, Instigator, 
two goblins for one. Pretty good. Good card to get back off the uh, God Pharaoh's gift. And a horse smuggler's copter. Smuggler's, smuggler's copter, smuggler's copter, smuggler's copter. Obviously one of the best decks in the one of the best cards in the format. Um, and it plays perfectly for what we're doing here. Our plan B is sort of a beatdown plan, which Smuggler's Copter plays perfectly into. And our plan A is to put cre cre creature cards into the graveyard, which Copter does phenomenally. Also helps us find our gate to the afterlife. So, perfect card for the deck. Now, we come to our top end. Getting back random 1-1s and 2-2s two with, with, with God Pharaoh's Gift is good. But our top end cards, getting back, uh, to get back, are Siege Gang Commander and Kranko. Siege Gang is, of course, one of the better goblins ever printed. Um, comes with an army. Just a good card, just in and of itself. Um, five power for five mana. Sacrifices to kill things. Great card to get back with God Pharaoh's Gift, because you'll have all your mana untapped. Uh, theoretically, it's sack goblins and kill things, and it's Ack. Uh, that's pretty awesome. And then the coolest one is Krenko. Now, Krenko is not the best card ever. Uh, Krenko is fine. Let's look at Krenko right now. Cranko is a 1-2 for 3. It's not great. When attacks, gets counter. Then you make 1-1 one, one goblin tokens for its power. So, it attacks, makes 2. And, uh, it's, uh, okay by itself. Not great. However, with God Pharaoh's Gift, we get a 5-5 five, five attacker that makes 5 goblin tokens. So, that's kind of our, our big payoff. We're not playing, like, a uh, Combat Celebrant or any uncastable cards in our deck to go with God Pharaoh's Gift, because we're not really all-in like that. But Krenko is a perfect mixture of card that's already kind of reasonable that's insanely good with God Pharaoh's Gift. So that one's really cool, too. Um, then we go to our sideboard. We have kind of like a, a sideboard juke here. So, of course, there is a lot of Graveyard Hate in Pioneer. Uh, there's Graveyard Hate. There's Artifact Hate. There's turn your God Pharaoh's gift into an L Kate. So if we're gonna play a fair matchup, where our opponent's gonna try and interact with us and thought sees us and break our stuff up, bam, bam. We can we can just board into a regular you know fair goblin deck. And if our opponent's not playing something fast, then we can uh, we can still be okay with the goblin ringleader plan things like that. Chain is great against uh, Lana Rolf decks. Ringleader is good against the slower decks. Warboss also good against the slower decks. Then we have three rending volleys to deal with uh, Feldar Guardian combo. Cool? What does everyone think? Mog Monday. Here we go. Fire Shark, no worries, my friend. Best wishes. All right. Hopefully things uh, things things work out. So let's do this. Pioneer League. Goblin Gift. Let's roll. I do like uh. Blood my courier a lot. I wish Blood my courier was a was a goblin. Uh, Private dirt. I don't put uh, deck text on YouTube usually. Um, so usually they're just live on stream, and it would be after uh, after this league. So let me know if you'd like to do that, and uh, we'll roll. All right, let's go. Bring back Minister of Inquiries and Angel Invention. Yeah, it's a different different way to build a deck for sure. But this is Mog Monday. Good morning, savages. Hope everyone is well. Eddie, 20 month resub. Welcome back, my friend. Ooh. Uh, this hand is not too good. If we knew we were drawing a, a creature, like a crew copter, we could just keep this hand. Like, literally any creature in our entire deck that crews copter is good here. Um, well, drawing the actual God for us gift is not great either. What's up, Adept? How's it going, my friend? Um... Eh, we're just mulligan. One day mulligan makes mulliganing so awesome. Alright, so this hand is great. Uh, we're going to keep this ship a gate. And we have a nice little uh, triple creature gate to land draw, which plays nicely. So, um, I think we're going to lead on Neonate. I guess they would just play Lionel. Eh, maybe not. Let's, let's, let's Neonate. Try and uh, see if they can get a one drop out of him. Mog Monday is purely Goblin decks crashed. Although later I am playing, um, I am playing uh, a Your Deck Live for Goober. We're gonna play some Bogles. All right. Um, so we need to decide here if we want to Firebrand to kill Lana off. I think we do. Lobmancer. Empty those Warrens. 
Would not be surprised if Nick throws Shrine to Nyx gets banned today. So obviously we'd rather sacrifice it with the gate to the afterlife in play, but I think killing that that uh, Mystic's pretty important. Alright, so we're playing the Devotion deck. Uh, current front runner for the best deck in the format. Smuggler's Copter. Interesting. Very interesting. Um Getting down gate is like pretty important, but getting down copter is also quite good here. I think I want to get down copter first. And would I trade Neonate for a Lanor Elf? I'm just gonna leave it back, I think. I can't see them banning dig through time. Uh, the Delve spells have been fine, but not amazing. I think if they they ban anything, I could see it being Nykthos and Feldar Guardian. All right. Speak of the Devil, there's Nykthos. Yeah, I mean, Nykthos is pretty messed up. What are they going to design of Ye to the Afterlife God Pharaoh? Yeah, I, I don't I don't necessarily love everything's attacking? What are they crazy? When they like ref the referentials at certain cards on stuff, but it's fine, whatever. Alright, so you get the block here. It's gonna block the burning tree. You get the loot skis. Crater destroy target Carlos non land permanent. That's not very useful. I guess killing a, a burning tree and cycling with Gate to the Afterlife is nice. So maybe maybe this is better than uh, Instigator is. Yeah, I kind of like that. So we get to eat a 2-2 for free because I think they, think they screwed up. Alright. Draw a mountain. Uh, we're definitely playing Gate to the Afterlife. I guess we're gonna sack the or just pitch the mountain, so just play eight, say go. Um, we're probably gonna block and then loot. We can also double loot off Neonate, so I think we have a good chance of uh, getting Godfrey's gift into play next turn. Getting back the uh, instigator off Godfrey's gift is nice too, because we had a four four and a one one to Kruva Copter, so. Yeah, I mean, just don't play a 10-10 Ballista or whatever. Alright, so they're going to send in both 3-3s. Three I kind of think we need to block here. Killing a land is also somewhat nice. They'll get the loot off gate, too. So, Copter won't be a creature in the graveyard, but it'll at least trigger the uh, the gate for now. So we get to loot. Uh, discard Prospector, cool. That's three creatures in the graveyard. Copter dies, loot. Mountain. That's the, all right. That's their whole turn. All right. This is not bad. Um, Bomac Courier. So we have one, two, three. I mean, we sacked Neonate, we, we could pop off the God Pharaoh's gift right now. I guess we like, yeah, I guess we just go for it. So we can like, Neonate, sack, discard courier, and then pitch the creator maker also, and just gate. Yeah, I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna crank it up here. Start attacking this Nissa. Alright, so let's crank this. Ship, Bomac courier. Loot. Alright, discard a... Um, so we have one, two, three, four. I guess just pitch the crater maker. We're gonna draw a card off Neonate too, but yeah, you could just pitch this and draw a card. It's a Bomac Courier, sure. Um, all right, crank it up. Let's 
search my library. God Pharaoh's gift. And if we get back to Nene, it'll have Menace. Which is actually pretty good, honestly. We get to Menace attack the Nissa. Um, you get to make Instigator, give us a blocker where they can just chump block. I think I like the Menace. And then Courier's gonna be a, a blocker for us. So let's get back to Neonate. So you have a 4 4 Menace Haste. Sure, this is fine. So kill the forest. And ship the courier. So I'd love to like siege gang or something, that'd be really cool. But Uh oh. They're making mana. Oh god, they're making mana. Here we go. They play a huge Ballista, we're probably dead. I guess I can just get back Crater Maker and kill it. Which isn't the end of the world. Okay. Not ideal, not ideal. It's a 5-5 five, five Ballista, I get back Crater Maker, attack Nissa, and then kill the Ballista. Alright, this is fine. Um, what's up, pants man? We are playing against the boogeyman here. This is the uh, the best deck in the format, probably. Crater maker, and then I attack Nissa with both. I guess they can block with both. They ultimate Nissa is only the end of the world, so I mean, Muta not bad. So I'm going to get a card here off of a uh, courier. We'll see how they block. Sure. So we're going to crack the courier. This is a deck that I brewed. It's based off an old standard deck, but... Discard the mountain and draw something good. How about another mountain? Fantastic. So we're going to kill Lanor Elf, and we're going to kill a Ballista and go to 8, and then block a Mutavault and try and not die, basically. So we're at 8. They will have 8 power coming in. We'll probably Muta Vault trade with the Burning Tree Emissary just to lower their board. And, I mean, Nissa. I guess if Nissa ultimates next turn, it's a problem, but. The thing is, if, if Nissa ultimates and they lose the Nissa, I don't really care that much. The, the problem is Nissa ultimating on 9. But. At the moment, we can't really deal with that. We gotta find ourselves a Siege Gang Commander or a Cranko, I think. Oh, they're going for it. Alright. So they get a million forests, and this Nykthos is indestructible. Not the end of the world. We have a million chump blockers in our deck. So that's not too concerning. Um, it's a 3-3. Three, three. We have infinite 4-4s. Four, uh, I didn't play Combat Salamander because I didn't want any cards that were strictly bad by themselves. Uh, Krenko is almost as powerful as Combat Celebrant in what it does if you get to attack with it with... Uh, God Pharaoh's gift while still being kind of okay in general. So, all right, they have one guard in their hand. They have a blister. We're dead, but we're gonna block the burning emissary. Wish my lands were indestructible. They have one card left. It is if it's a ballista. They have three. They have ten. They can play it. Yeah, we're dead if it's ballista, but. 
What are we going to do? Nothing we can do. So let's get back. Um, I just don't mind just playing Neonate here. I'll get back the uh, Instigator attack for four. Actually, I can't attack. This thing, has, this thing has Vigilance, too. Indestructible Vigilance. That's rude. All right, let's get back. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it matters. Sure, just get back to the theater. Make a token and say go. We could just we could crack the neonate now and look for something. What would we what would that we actually be looking for? Nice food, sure. Firebrand, sure. Don't have Ballista. Another Nykthos. In the graveyard. <laughs> Another Nyssa. Alright, this is going to be tough. Um, so now we got to find... It's not actually that bad. We, do, we have a 4-4 four, four for every 3-3 three, three they have. Uh... I guess I'm gonna block. So like our four fours match their three threes. So that every turn every turn they get a three three, I get a four four, which is fine. We gotta find a way to actually win the game. So looking for siege gang or something like that. Um, So yeah. Don't think this is not the worst. The worst is um is a ballista. Unfortunately they have a lot of spells in their decks, all their lands are gone. I guess we are one behind the eight ball here, because we are one one four four behind. But uh, Hi Jim. Thanks for being my favorite streamer. Started watching you after meeting you after SCG Dallas. What's up, Hunter? Thanks for stopping one year. That's awesome, my friend. Thank you. There's our bad boy. There he is. Now we're cooking. You love to see it. The Black Skirk Prospector. No ballista. However, these, these aren't they aren't goblins and they actually lose their type line. So they're actually zombies and not goblins, which is interesting, but all right, so insolent neonate. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, we're not, we're not ever attacking, but we get to uh, see to we'll block, block, shoot them, and then we'll uh. We'll get to. Oh God! All right, they drew ballista. We're dead. Oh, that's pretty annoying. If we had like, I guess we needed like three more turns, probably. Them not, them not drawing ballista. All right, whatever. All right, it's pretty annoying, obviously. Uh, not a great start. Not a great start. There's no point in blocking with the commander and getting it back right away because I, I can just wait and then I can sacrifice it at some point and gain some value off of it. Or no rush to block with the commander. Alright, so we're going to bring in... We're going to leave our God Pharaoh's Gift plan in. Um, I would like to bring in Chain Whirlers to mop up the Lana Whirlves as well as uh, be good against 3 threes.
What are we cutting? I think we can afford to cut one copy of God Pharaoh's Gifts, honestly. I guess they might have, like, Disenchants and stuff. I don't, know, I don't know what their cyborg looks like. I should know what their cyborg looks like. It's the best deck in the format. Um, let's look. How is the PTQ not on Goldfish? There it is. Uh, only one Reclamation Sage, according to uh, Todd Anderson's list. Yeah, I'm going to cut one God Pharaoh's Gift, and I'm going to cut the Crater Makers, and I'm going to cut like one neonate maybe um let's try this we're not really looking to grind against them so like the ringleader package isn't great war boss is like okay but not great let's try this just another mod monday wish it was sunday but it's Mog Monday. All right, let's try again. Uh, another pretty gross seven. Um, don't really want the the five lander here. I guess we're gonna mulligan. Courier is not amazing in our deck in the sense that like we can push it through. I guess it probably would get like two attacks in, but we're not emptying our hand very fast. All these lands, so we're gonna mulligan. Uh, this hand is significantly better. We're going to ship probably Muta Vault. Um, so can't cast Chain Whirler anyway. And I think we're going to lead on Prospector. Leyline of Abundance. Okay. I wonder if my opponent's going to be sad when their deck gets banned in like an hour. Once upon a time. It's all the fun cards. Nykthos. Ah, oh, surprising. We're going to get turn 2 Nissa here, probably. I guess we, like... Do we have to Firebrand here? Like, if we don't Firebrand, they could just turn 2 Nissa us. As Elwith Mystics is Soul Ring right now. I think we have to Firebrand. That sucks so bad. But... What's up, Mad? This is our first match. We are down a game. I mean, I'm not sacrificing my, my prospect or chain whirler, so. Once upon a time. Okay. Okay. Uh, X, I would need to see the deck. I, I have no idea. Off the offhand. Alright. I mean. Not the not the greatest of all time, but what do they get? They got a, a forest? Alright. Courser of Crufix. Sure. Sure. It's fine. Mutavault. Alright. Let's crew it up here. See what we can find. Get some beats in. Loot some cards. There's our gate. You'd love to see it. And pass. Corsair is like fine, but definitely a filler card in their deck. It doesn't really do a ton for them. And next turn, we should be able to do some pretty good work, honestly, with our gate. Could probably get gate online between Neonate and Prospector. Let's see. Draw to Mountain. Let's um, let's crew a Copter and sack this Neonate and see what we draw. We're gonna pitch the Chain Whirler. I don't think Chain Whirler matters in this board at all. Like, their top card is Lana Worlds, I guess, which you can kill, but we can probably get it back by them with the gate anyway, so let's just, um, let's crew Copter. Sack Neonate, get two loots. We're gonna discard... I think it's just Pitch the Chain Ruler. So we get to loot. Draw Mutavault, Tilt. Discard Mountain, alright. And draw a card. 
Chain Whirler. So now you have three creatures in the graveyard. Hmm. Four. So I could sack Prospector and make a red. That would be that would be a loot. And I could bin the chain relics. That's only five in the graveyard, though. Um, and obviously once I attack, getting a uh, God Pharaoh's gift doesn't really matter that much. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just attack with Copter. Sack for red. I have to draw a creature, then I can't even get in the graveyard. So, all right, we'll just attack. Loot says, another Chain Whirler? Sure. There's a lot of Chain Whirlers. So now you have one, two, three, four, yeah, so... One, two, three, four... By Sack Prospector, I can get the gate, but there's no reason to do that yet. Uh, so I'm going to play Mute Vault as I go. Voracious Hydra. It's a card. Line of War Elfos. Sure. And Devotion for seven. Play another Leyline of Abundance. Aw, oh, come on. Alright, this is fine. We can actually just do it in response. So, they drew the one, they drew the one Rex Sage, but it's actually fine. They're going to kill the Copter? That's super sketch. We can just crew. All right, so uh, let's crew with. Um, I mean, I could sack the gate in response anyway. So, but what's uh, what's crew with? Um, do I want to block a prospector? I mean, we're, so we're gonna get back chain roller next turn and uh, kill Lana or else, which is cool. I have one card, man. I'm gonna kill, kill the Rex Sage too. It's the same thing. Alright, let's just crew with the, the Prospector. So that gets destroyed. We get to loot. Thanks for following, everyone. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. Of course, we're checking on YouTube. Make sure you follow on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, discard a Prospector? Sure. That's fine. So we'll just go into our turn and see what we draw. A mountain, sure. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We can just sack the prospector for red and crack the the gate. The thing is that the the chain whirler in our hand doesn't like really matter that much, but um, yeah, I guess it's just loot. Sack for red. Loot with gate. Draw a mountain. Alright, so we're going to keep that, I guess. And then we'll crack this gate. Uh, we're going to move to... It doesn't really matter, I guess, either way. Get back our chain whirler. I suppose. We could get back to Neonate. Actually, we're ready to combat now. I mean, there's no choice. So. Nice, evil-looking Goblin Chain Whirler. What's up, Bubble? How's it going, my friends? So at 7, we have a Chain Whirler and a Firebrand in the graveyard. I guess they're getting some life. It doesn't really matter. Of course, they have Crufix. They just drew a Voracious Hydra, which is going to be pretty big, honestly, but... Are they going to have it fight or just make it huge? How do you submit a deck tech? Uh, donate, donate 10 bucks, and it would be after this league. We're currently in match one, so it would not be for like two hours. I don't do deck techs in the, in the middle of leagues, because I'm recording for YouTube, so... Um, 16, 17, Trample. Yeah, nice nick those. Goblin Instigator. Uh, yeah, 
this is pretty silly, honestly. Uh, Alright, I guess we're just getting back uh, something. Neonate, I guess? It's hard to... Block, can't attack. I mean, honestly, just probably dead, unfortunately. <laughs> like, just Nykthos and Leyline and all sorts of shenanigans. Dirt! He is a link to my list. I would love to hear your thoughts. It roughly bases on a deck I played when the format was called Frontier. Sweet. Sounds good, Dirt. It'll be after this league, my friend. And in the future, please use Goldfish. Uh, tap that's fine, but Goldfish is preferred. They find a Nyssa, sure. I mean, they can just pump everything like 10 times. Yeah, I think this Mono Green deck is pretty busted. It is pretty amusing that this, might, this deck might get banned during this league. Because they're going to be announcing their... Uh, their first banning, like, yeah, just attack with their 17, 18 trampler. It's possible we can kill them next turn. Probably not. Maybe they're nine. Need a menacer. All right, um, fanatical firebrand. Well, we're gonna try and kill them because we can't do anything else. So. Yeah, we're certainly we're certainly battling here. Like it's not been like, you know, uh, a total wash. We are playing magic against them and doing some reasonable things. I mean, they might be dead here. I haven't done the math. I'm just gonna attack and see what happens. I'm dead anyway. So, Leroy Jenkins, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take that broken deck. Haha! -ha. They're announcing it's later in the day. That's weird. First strike damage, you're dead damage. Mog Monday, I don't care how broken your deck is. We got some, some zombie goblin people here. Nice. Nice. Alright. Cool. Um... Now they're on the play, though. I think it just cast turn two Nissa on the play. But we'll try and stop them. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Nobody knows I'm a dog. Thanks for following. I appreciate that. Is it being in the wrong corner again? God, you little bastard. I keep moving the camera, and he just goes to the side where the camera isn't. A little bastard. A little bastard. All right, Sans keep bolt. We have an answer to a Lanarolf, we have a Chain Whirler, we have Couriers, this is fine. Couriers not going to be great, I'm going to draw, but... Opponent Mulligans, love it. But they have a Ley Line, don't love it. And Once Upon a Time. London Mulligan plus Once Upon a Time lets Dex do basically the same thing every single game. It's kind of, kind of unreal. Pew! Don't have a land, no more lands. Damn it. Not only a land, but the best land. Alright. Our hand's, like, not bad here. Um, they're making a lot of mana next turn. They're making a lot of mana next turn. And we can't stop them. We're, our hand's pretty good. We have to kill Leonard off for free with the Chain Whirler. We have a gate, a gate online. All right, here we go. It's happened four. I would mind Leyline Le Le number two here. A blister for two would be pretty annoying, but it wouldn't actually be that bad. A blister for two. Yeah, this is fine. So we get to... Oh, it's a voracious Hydra. That is worse. That is worse. It's that Philly Cheese. So they're going to double the counters, make a four five? It's weird. I feel like killing my stuff is better, but sure. Smuggler's Copter is also good. Uh, Alright, let's give me a Chain Ruler. Just take this Liner off out and slow him down a little bit. 
four or five is annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, next turn we can like gate, sack something copter probably. I'm gonna get this uh, God Pharaoh's. Oh, wait, it missed the land drop too. Tight. All right. Um, pretty sure we're gonna gate. Prospector sack. Man, do I sack, do I sack the chain roller? I think I do actually. I don't think chain roller matters right now. Let's uh, let's play gate. Sack chain roller for a red loot. Discard a mountain. And play copter and just say go. Now we have two creatures in the graveyard. I also have this courier too, so I can next turn I can like uh, empty my hand, attack, draw two cards, put a creature in the graveyard, loot, etc., etc., etc. Are they gonna miss a land again? Sure. You got it, friend. They're gonna kill the Bomac Courier, sure. So I'll loot. Discard a mountain. A lot of uh a lot of land so far. A lot of land so far. Uh we have three creatures in the graveyard. Third favorite child. That's month number two, the most important month. It means you chose to come back. Thanks so much, my friend. Appreciate it. Um I could activate Muta Vault and just sack it to Prospector and loot, but I feel like we're pretty far off from actually, uh, we need three more creatures in the graveyard. Alright, let's just fire up here. We're at 18, they're kind of mana screwed. Do need to find some non-lands here, I'm not going to lie. Okay. Um... That's kind of annoying, because now if I actually did it, I would have gotten there, I think. The Prospector. Um, I guess we just go for it next turn. I want to keep this in my hand, I think. So I'll be looting next turn. Yeah, all right. Land or elves. All right, sweet. So we, we, we can get back Chain Ruler and kill this. Awesome. I think we're in good shape, my friends. Another Prospector? Sure. So let's crew this bad boy. Sack this goblin to loot. Draw. Uh, it's one, two, three, four. Uh, I guess you might as well just do this. Play Neonate. King, deck tech, you got it, my friend. It's awkward. I just can't stack it. You can't stack it differently, I guess. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right. Um, crack this bad boy. Get God Pharaoh's gift. Move to combat. Maybe we're going to win this one, folks. I think we're going to win this one, folks. Coming in. No blocks. We'll go to five. Play goblin. Make goblin. Say go. King with the donation. Appreciate that. Deck text again after this league, my friends. This is match one. So, match one victorious. White screen of death. Magic Online trying to be like Magic Arena. Get some hype, please, for uh, a mod. What the hell? <laughs> Magic Online? Jesus. Hell yeah. Take that, Nick Thos, Shrine to Nick. So if you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. How's it going, my friends? It's Mog Monday. That's right. Mog Monday. Goblins every single Monday. Uh, the stream is in the morning, and the video goes up on YouTube in the afternoon to the evening. We're playing Pioneer Goblins, God Pharaoh's Gift, Gate to the Afterlife. Suck it, Devotion. Suck it. 
If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow there. If you're watching on YouTube, also please like, comment, subscribe, hit all those buttons. The algorithms love it. All right? The algorithms love it. It's important. Mod Mondays. Taste it. You'll love to see it. All the catchphrases here on the stream. Woo! That's a deck. I'm going to check that one out in a little bit, too. So if I just beat the best deck in Pioneer, is this the new best deck in Pioneer? Yeah, probably. Lucas, you haven't been following Pioneer? Pioneer's fun. All right. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's not great, but it's fun. I'm keep. We're on the play of the Bomac Courier. It's just stuff, you know? They're going to think we're playing an aggro deck. Little do they know. It's Mog Monday. Hollowed Fountain. So, Bomac Courier should be pretty good here. Boko number two? All right. Maybe this is actually bad because they have the Tension Sphere, maybe. Yeah, that might actually be really dumb. Maybe. Maybe not. I think there's any other gift shells. I tried to go Gari gift stack. It seemed really bad. Um, I think, like, some sort of blue deck with Emery could be cool. Um, things are very unexplored, obviously. A lot of things to explore in Pioneer. So, it, it depends on the format and if, like, a Braid is popular and, like, main deck artifact rule is popular. Nyx Fleece Ram? Uh, okay. I'm sure I'll land here, please. That's not a land, but it's not the worst. Maybe I should pitch this in for trying to find a land. Finding a land is so important with these couriers in play. Alright, so... I kind of want to just crack the Neonate and discard an Instigator and look for a land. It's like just straight card disadvantage, but these Couriers should make up for our card disadvantage. Although they have a, a Detention Sphere. If they're playing Fleece Ram main deck, they're probably playing some sort of enchantment deck. That would be really bad. Um, I'll just do it. I'm just try to find a land. I think Creator Maker's like a worst Instigator. Lando. Tilt. Oh boy. Now do I cast Smuggler's Copter? I guess I have to. Alright, I guess if they have the Tension Sphere, we're in trouble. Port, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Medic, new sub, what's your name, well, what's your name, where are you from? Welcome, my friend. New subs. Y'all great, thank you. Don't play attention sphere. Whew. Thank God. Try to be a little different here. How's that look? Is that kind of cool? Have it always be in that space right there. editing. They're right in the middle. That's kind of cool. How's that look? Alright, cool. Upkeep. Draw. Bowmat Courier. Awkward. Um, we still want to draw land. Um, they have... They can have a Wrath, too. Like, they're playing... They discarded... They, discarded, they, bitch, they pitched an Oath of Kaya? That's pretty wild. Um, all right, let me just crew copter and attack. Try and draw land, please. Land, please. Card, card. Loot. Copter is particularly good. Um, all right, we're gonna pitch Siege Gang Commander. Cole from Washington is our new sub, playing since Guild of Ravnica. Favorite deck, 
Anything gets dredges. Puppy named Bernie. Thanks, Cole. Appreciate that. All right, they're at 12. I mean, like, if they have a Wrath or something, we have a Copter, I guess. They have a Oath of Kaya. We at least have um, a second Bowman Courier. Please, no one follow during combat. Love it. I mean, we've missed a number of land drops here. We've, you know, we've had some loots and stuff. Um, getting Gate in play would be nice, too. I mean, both Duff Fairy and the Tension Sphere are pretty good against our, uh, our stuff. Kaya's Wrath. All right. Cranko. All right. I mean, Gate of the Afterlife is certainly on, and uh, it'll certainly be good if we can get it. All right. Um, do we just hard cast Cranko? I'm probably just playing Gate next turn anyway. I put the Cranko in the graveyard, honestly. And then do I play Courier? Uh, one, two, three. We have plenty of creatures in the graveyard. Probably just jam Courier now. Alright, I mean, this game's not going great for us, but. Puppy named Karn for Dirt. Of course, of course, of course. And uh, Dirt started playing just before New Phyrexia. Every deck is Gruel Ramp or Titan Shift. Sweet. Sweet. And then Ed from South Jersey is a new sub. Playing since Mirrored and Besieged. Favorite deck, Goblins. Favorite deck, favorite card, Gamekeeper. Puppy name, Winston. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. Y'all great. Hope you're all enjoying Mob Monday. Cycle cast out? Okay. Prospector would be very good. Yeah. Othakaya, Tilt. It's fine, though. Honestly, this Copter might just kill him by itself, so... I could see Dance of the Mance being a pretty seri serious possibility, though. Another gate? Dance in the manse. Dance in the... Dance in the manse! But I wanted the red Mega Man! Now I can't make Ultra Mega 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 Man! You dirty cheap ass piece of crap! I hate you! I want you to die! Fatal push the copter? Oh, that's a huge chill. I'm an idiot for not playing gate, gate first. Doesn't actually matter, I guess, but... Another Cranko? Yeah, I need to ship it. Alright. I mean, if they have a Dance the Mancer, we're just dead, I think. But. Yes, all new subs, join, join the, join the, the uh, Discord, please. Yeah, they're definitely playing Dance the Mancer. They have both the Jace, too. It's kind of cool. We don't have any graveyard hate in our deck, so this is going to be pretty hard to win, honestly. They just return, cast out... I guess it's just cast out with the Kaya Fleece Rim. It's not that bad. The Golden Egg. I mean, if we get to, to Gate next turn, we get to get a Krenko and do our Krenko combo. That's pretty cool. Our Krenko Wombo combo. Raise your hand in chat if you like a good wombo combo. Don't these fear me. All right, sweet. What happened to the overlay? What overlay? What you talking about? Just another Mog Monday. Now this is where this is why Crank goes in the deck. You all ready for this? So we got a 5-5 five, five Cranko. Don't push me. Don't you dare have Fatal Push. Well, they can't, because I have a... Oh, yeah, they can. They can suck this thing for mana. Love it. It attacks and gets a counter and makes five Goblin Tokens. They take seven. We have uh, quite the army here. 
They need to deal with my board as well as my God Pharaoh's gift. Cycle cast out. We do have a second Cranko in the bin as well as a Siege Gang Commander. So. Five! Five goblins! Eh, eh, eh. Uh, Pants Man, that's only on Arena. Uh, Magic Online lacks the technology to make that possible. Oh, yeah. Taste it. All right, so we're going to board into our our uh, our sideboard plan of taking out the God Pharaoh's Gifts. So I'm sure they're going to have, like, Rest in Peace, things like that. They're an enchantment place white deck. So let's cut the gates, cut the God Pharaoh's Gifts, cut the Neonates. Um, we're going to bring in the entire War Boss and Ringleader package. And at least two Chain Whirlers. Is there any other card we'd like to cut? Because it's not strong enough. Or is Chain Whirler? So we have. So we're, we're doing the plan here. Plasma, six month resub. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, so we have 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 10. We have 29 goblins, which is a pretty good count. It's a pretty good count. Uh, do I want these goblin Chain Whirlers? I don't think so. Are they better than Goblin Crater Maker? Maybe. Yeah, they probably are, honestly. Let's do it. Transformational Cyborg. The disparity between Magic Online and Arena is so confusing. What the hell is Watsy even doing with Arena? I have no idea. Oh, Landscapers are here. Perfect. I love when the Landscapers come. I love a good mowed lawn. Mowing lawns is great. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. But yeah, uh, they've been, they've been screwing up Arena real. I haven't played Arena in, like, weeks. I've played so little Arena in the last few months. Just no interest. You know, like, they're just not supporting it. Um, this Firebrand here, I think. We may have Prospector out of Ringleader a turn early, but we'll see. We'll see. I am uh, not on an airplane, surprisingly. Next Fleece Ram, sure. Another Prospector. Yeah. Like, not announcing Pioneer on Arena and just having Historic be working its way back to Pioneer is ridiculously stupid. Not having Brawl all the time is stupid. Uh, it's just like a lot of stupid things on Arena. <laughs> it's pretty frustrating. I wish I ship our creatures here. Yeah, they really, they really, they really got to tighten things up. Um, the Pioneer announcement, while Pioneer is very fun, like, what the hell are they doing? How are they not supporting their current client, you know? All right, they're going to shock and play a three drop. Uh, private, sure. That'd be great. Thank you. Do I think there'll be a good Scarab God deck? Uh, it's probably a little too slow. Maybe. Maybe. I think Scarab God plays really well with, with uh, Fires of Invention. I have so many brews I want to brew. I have like a million brews in my head for this format. I just keep brewing. I want to keep brewing more. I want to build like a, like a God Pharaoh's, I mean, a, a Scarab God Fires of Invention deck. Um, so much stuff. Uh, life gain doesn't, doesn't really matter, I don't think. Life gain's important for decks like Burn, because you're trying to, to incrementally beat them. Um, but we're, like, we have over-the-top engines that win the game through life gain, so I think it's fine. Alright, we're just gonna crank a, a ringleader here. Our Castle Ember hurts are very good, too, which is nice. Start playing four of them. Sorry. <sighs> Bowmat Courier, why aren't you a goblin? Yeah, I if you are a arena only player, I'd be pretty freaking pissed off right now, honestly. Like, they need to hire like a dozen more programmers and get some people to work and let's freaking go. You know, like 
right, so they again discarded Oath of Kaya, which is kind of weird. Uh, Oath of Kaya seems good. I guess we have the Prospector in play, but... Thoughts on Hardened Scales? Uh, it's one of the more powerful cards in the format. Doom Foretold. Sure. Uh, I mean, I think keeping up with Doom Foretold should not really be a problem. Pissed off arena player reporting in. <laughs> yeah, I would be pissed too. I'd be pissed too. Uh, let me just sacrifice this. Chain Whirler. I mean, they could have a Wrath, but I think we're just playing the War Boss. Like, War Boss gives us a good thing to sacrifice, so. Yeah, hopefully, I, I get I get the feeling that a lot of people just have not been playing Arena in the last month. So, hopefully when they see their sales figures for the last month or two, and they're like, oh, crap. Uh, you know, they get on that. So, they get to sack their Oath of Jace here, which is fine. Oh, yeah. Whack those weeds. You get them, Mr. Landscaper. You're a mister, right? Yep, Mr. Landscaper, you whack those weeds. Raise your hand in chat if you're a pissed off arena player. Oh, the guy is sure. It's kind of a tilt. Alright, it's Doom Foretold. Oh, it is non token permanent, actually. So we'll sack the Prospector, I guess. Siege Gang Commander. I don't want to run headlong into a Wrath. I mean, let me just fire up the Meat of All and attack here. Looks like they have Fatal Push. It's annoying, but... Alright. Coming in for a few points. Plain Chain Whirler. Saying go. Alright, so they sacrifice Oath of Kaya. Again, if they ever resolve a dance with the Mance, they're probably in trouble. Golden Egg. Okay. Golden Egg. Like Arena really did have a great start too. I really I really like Arena a lot. And also the performance issues have been terrible. It's been so slow. It hasn't been fun to play. It's just been a, it's just been a disaster. Um, I'm just sad. I just want Arena to work properly. Goblin Instigator. I mean that does uh, decently well against this uh, Doom Foretold. Mog Monday, Mog Monday. We got a ten. I feel like we're not doing enough damage here. This next fleece round has been pretty freaking annoying, honestly. All right, so Doom Foretold. They've sacked some eggs. It's a four. It's a four cards in end. I'm worried. I'm worried. But yeah, like Arena rolled out super well. Mythic Invitational was awesome. Arena was awesome to start. Standard was doing pretty good. And then, I don't know, things have just gotten really, really ugly ever since. All right, there's your Kaya's Wrath. They get the Doom Foretold. We get to discard Chain Whirler and play Siege Gang and then just hope it's good enough. They still have five cards in hand. And if any one of those is Dance of the Mans, we're just dead. All right. Doesn't seem like a great matchup for us, honestly. Just like the the Wrath. I don't know, I don't know why they're playing Kaya's Wrath of a Supreme Verdict, but it's just like a Wrath of God, Oath of Kaya deck with a lot with a great cart with a great late game. Couch Boy, new sub, what's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. VTM couldn't agree more. VTM says with historic being basically unsupported, old cards are worthless. Till they have a use for old cards or dusting, there's no point in putting money into arena, you're just throwing it away. Basically, yeah. 
Oh my god, here it comes. To the Dance of the Man's Back, Oath of Kaya, Oath of Jace, Fleece Ram, Doom Foretold. Their deck's pretty cool. I kind of like it. I guess they, they can't have Rest in Peace. I'm an idiot. They're playing Dance of the Mance. All right, so they still have Dance of the Mance in their deck. They definitely, they definitely don't have Rest in Peace. We're going to board back into our... Uh, we're going to board back into our... Um, our God Pharaoh's Gifts for Game 3. VTM. VTM. Underscore. 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 Yeah. This is bad. Yeah, we're just dead. I'm just going to scoot. We to be, we're gonna, they're going to stack Doom Foretold in our turn. We're going to discard Smuggler's Copter. They're going to draw another card. Make another 2-2. We just can't win. All right. So, um, yeah. Wait, they have Lay One of the Void? Okay. Never mind. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe they, uh, maybe we'll stay with the, the aggro plan instead. Uh, yeah. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll just stay on this plan. Graveyard Hate and Wrath of Gods and the combo finish. It's tough. Bassist. Woohoo. New modifications. Pretty good, Siri. Modifications. That's month number two. It means you chose to come back. Thanks so much, my friend. Month number two. What landed me in the penalty box last night? Yeah, I had a hockey game last night. And uh, my team has been do not, not been doing too well lately. Um, here, follow me on Twitter. First of all, why do you follow me on Twitter? I'll give you one fluffy reason. Zibby of the week. There he is last night. He was just hanging out my shoulder, helping me uh, get some cards ready for the stream. Zibby of the week. But uh, yeah, Nicole took a funny picture of me in my game last night. And I, uh, let's see. There I am in the box in the box. Yeah, we, uh, I don't know. My team hasn't been doing very well. I called for hooking. I tied the guy up pretty good. I, I, I hooked him. It was a penalty. Um, we lost. We lost, like, uh, I don't know, 6-2 or something. It was tough. But we're the scrappers. It's like a, a bulldog or something on our logo. So, but yeah, it's me in the box. It's me in the box. Two minutes for winning the game. Maybe they wanted to hide their sideboard tech. Whatever. I'll take it. 2-0! Oh! Mog Mondays. Well, that's the problem, Hunter, right? Is that um, it feels like they're supporting Arena. Like, we, we were sold Arena to be the new Magic Online, but it's feeling more like duels in the last, uh, in the recent period. So, all right, folks. We're brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com, number one source for your game shopping needs. CoolStuffInc.com, my articles as well. Video Monday, Article Friday. This Monday's video, which you can watch later, is uh, Four Color Sahili, Esper Sahili in Pioneer. Check it out, CoolStuffInc.com. Also use promo code JIM5 to buy all your Pioneer cards. Get your uh, your Siege Gang Commanders and your God Pharaoh's Gifts on CoolStuffInc.com using promo code JIM5. Check it out, CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, this hand is phenomenal. Keep. Love it. Love it. Uh, we can lead on Prospector. Blooming Marsh, Llanowar Elf. Current. Goblin Instigator. I mean, that's pretty good. Right? Like, definitely want to get Thought Seized. Here's Instigator. Set up for a Gate of the Afterlife. There's like a chance we can activate next turn, right? We stack for red, stack for red. Ooh, Steel Leaf Champion. That's a boomer. Alright, so... Krenko. I think playing Krenko is pretty ambitious, but putting it in the graveyard is pretty nice. 
Uh, one, two, three, four. So let's like, uh, let's just try and go for it. Honestly, let's um, because we can put with the neonate also. We have six mana to work with. We might be able to get it in play this turn. Let me, let me think about this. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see. Neonate. Right, we gotta get the, God, the, the gate in play first, obviously. So we'll just do that. And then we'll just start doing stuff. It's like for red. And loot. Yes. Discard Cranko. I think Prospector does it. Honestly. Sack for red. Neonate. Actually, just, we just cycle a Prospector. Sack for red. Loot. That's four. Yeah, play Neonate. Discard. Draw. Discard. Oh my god, we are we are going the hell off here. And then one, two, three, four. yeah, that's it. Oh boy! How's that for a turn three on the play? I thought we could do it on the play. And then we get back Krenko. Mog Monday, Mog Monday. God, you love to see it. Go ahead, Assassin's Trophy me. See if I care. I got Castle Ember Hearth and, and five tokens. You're dead. I had some more hype in chat. That there's not enough hype happening right now. That was the bomb. The bomb. Now. The problem is, now what do we do? So, they're playing green and black. They're playing heavy green. Um, we just won too fast. They just, we just didn't see what they were doing. Do you want to board out the combo or no? I don't think our grindy stuff's good against them if they're playing Steel Leaf Champion. I do want some Chain Whirlers, though, I think, if they're playing Lana or Elves. So let's like cut like the Crater Makers for two Chain Whirlers. Just do that, maybe. I doubt. <laughs> now do it again. That's what I always tell John. Whenever we're like playing golf or playing hockey, he's like, he, he gets a good drive. He's like, I had a good drive. I'm like, you did. Now do it again. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, Scarf Prospector, obviously better than Lionel or else. I could have got like two Bomac Couriers. Courier on the draw seems pretty bad in this matchup. Let's do that, actually. Turn we turn three chain wheeler on the draw too slow. I mean, it's at least a, a decent sized body, you know. Like, but my courier's not doing much. I don't think Crater Maker's doing much either, honestly. Mog Monday. Mog Monday. Uh sounds great. So wanna kill Lanor off, turn two play copter. Love it. Falco Firebrand's been pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Being able to uh, kill these Lana Elves. Lana Elves feels like one of the most important cards in the format. And being able to kill it has been pretty nice. Huh. <laughs> Pants Man, that's cool. <gasps> okay. Alright, well. Can't kill this one in time. You also have a kind of awkward, uh, all mute vault here. Our, 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 our mana base is built for our main deck and then our sideboard for sure, but I think it's fun. Uh, I I wouldn't be surprised if today it was Nykthos and Feldar Guardian getting banned. Alright, sweet. So this is a pretty easy Chain Whirler. Just kill a Lionel Elf. And... Crew up. Attack. And discard something. It's probably Krenko. Like. 
I mean, I guess just playing... If they don't have any removal in their deck, because like, they might just be like a Stompy deck and not have removal. They just land, I think. Yeah, it's just going to land, sure. I could see Oko, I could see Oko getting banned, too. Because everyone just pissed off about Oko. So, like, banning it in some format, making people happy. Once upon a time for Forest and another Llanowar Elf. Mm. I wonder what's going to happen to this Llanowar Elf. What do y'all think? That was actually an insane draw. Uh, so, Chain Roller that Llanowar Elf. And now we could Courier Crew and have these back on defense. Or now we're just freaking attack him, right? Smugglers Copter is so good. Like, it's unreal how good Smugglers Copter is. Uh, there's our gate, so now the, the Cranko goes away. I mean, there were four copies of Oko in the deck that won Legacy Championship. It was a lands deck. The lands deck was playing three Ren and six and four Oko. Let that sink in for a minute. The land deck, the perfect place for Ren and six, was playing three Ren and six and four Oko. Man, we are stomping people. However bad we did last week, we are just crushing fools. Three and oh. I guess one of our opponents did kind of scoop, but we we're going to beat them anyways. It doesn't really matter. This shellacking you're seeing so far is brought to you by Coalesce Apparel and Design. Get your awesome magic shirts from Coalesce Apparel and Design. Get your Wooberg shirt. Desi, What's up, Desi? Uh, get, get your cool guild shirts. Uh, get all your shirts. Can we get follower mode off? No. No, no, no. You must follow the chat in my chat. Uh, this sounds awkward. Desi, Thank you for the raid, my friend. I appreciate it. If you haven't seen Desi's stream... Check out Detsy's stream for sure. Me and Desi did our uh, did our uh, our meet and greet together, which was really really fun at uh, TwitchCon. Check out Desi's stream. Desi's great. Um, hmm. We got a full house here. We got a full house here. Can't keep this end. Our oh, playing against Hoagland. That's cool. Streamer showdown. All right, we're going to mulligan. We're, we're pretty close to a nut draw here with our prospectors, but we need to draw land, too, so we're going to mulligan. Uh, triple smuggler's copter? Mm. Going to ship one. Oh, sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. I was excited about the, uh, the, uh, the, the raid. The seven-card hand was prospector, 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 neonate, neonate, land, gate to the afterlife. Choked, a statuary, watery grave, thought seize. Mm. Where can you see the lands list of four Oko? It's on Twitter somewhere, I don't know. Yeah, stuff. They're making one shirt for each guild. So the ones that have not been done yet, I assume will be done, you know? The seven was not good. It's only one land. <laughs> if one of those prospectors was a land, it was a snap keep. But we can't risk not drawing a land. And they would have thought season our gate and our hand would have been terrible. So. A little streamer showdown here against Jeff Hoagland. Watery Grave, sure. There's our gate. Right off the top. It's where it should be. What's going on here? Some blue black, some Esper shenanigans. I mean, a statuary means they're playing one drops. That are so they're playing counter spells here. I'm gonna assume they have a removal spell. Let me just jam gate here. I don't know. Gate's really important. It's a weird mixture of like playing around removal or counter spell. Um, resolving gate seems pretty important. I'm just gonna do it. Go ahead, absorb me or something.
And if this resolves, I'm going to attack for one. I'm not going to crew smuggler's copter. Uh, now is good, dirt. Alright, yeah, we're going to attack for one. We're not going to risk the copter. Like, what else could their hand be? If it's not, if it's not a counter spell, it would be a kill spell, so... There's no reason to fire up copter here. Thank you, Private Dirt. Two deck attacks coming up after this league. Let me get some uh, your deck live. A double dip for Goober. Bogles. Murderous Rider. That sucks. I f 6 and they have Murderous Rider. That's a feel bad. So I could have sacked the Prospector in response. That sucks. All right. Unfortunate. Trying to be efficient. Um... I'm just going to pitch the mountain here. I'm sure our creatures will just die naturally. There's no reason to, uh... There's no reason to be discarding them. We want to keep all of our gas. Thought C, sure. That does really suck that I, I have six. Is this... If you sacrifice the target in response, uh, it doesn't resolve, so the murderous rider won't go into the adventure mode. So... Another gate? All right. All right, um, we get a crew copter here. I guess we're gonna crew. And if it dies, we get the loot of this gate away. We get to attack, it's awesome. All right, sure. So, loot skis. Uh, yeah, discard God Pharaoh's gifts, sure. So we have two creatures in the graveyard. It's not ideal. It's not ideal. Othakaya. Alright. Some sort of Esper control deck. Let me get two loot. Uh, I'll just discard the land. In case they have someone to deal with my gate to the afterlife. Come on! One, two, three. Yep, yeah, this is a pretty bad hand. I'm not going to play the gate because they have D Sphere. Pretty bad draws. Pretty bad, pretty bad draws. Demonic Pact. All right, so uh, d deal four, discard two, draw two, lose the game. All right, so sure. This is a deck. This is a deck when it was in standard for a while. You just try and get rid of it before uh, your opponent gets to do things. All right, Firebrand's fine. We only have three creatures in the graveyard, so we can't even like try and sack the Firebrand and go for it, which kind of sucks. But yeah, could have felt our guardian to blink the pact. We discard two, sure. I mean, obviously our hand's terrible. Yeah, I'm possibly playing Feldar Guardian. Let me flicker it. All right. Loot. Couldn't put a creature in the graveyard. Tilt. So not, not been a very good hand for us so far. Up another land. All right. Yeah, not not a not a great uh, not a great hand so far. What are the ways that uh, they can flicker this? Right, so draw two, sure. I really hope Jeff just dies to this. That would make me so happy. All right, now they playing Feldar Guardian. All right. So, is Jeff also playing Sahili? I don't see how you can play Feldar Guardian and not play Sahili in your deck. <sighs> There's like no way, right? So yeah, pretty bad draw on our part, unfortunately. Uh, Drew both God Pharaoh's gifts. Draw insolent neonate. 
guess that punishes me for playing the lamb, but I wanted to play around the demonic pact also. Uh, one, two... Now there's four creatures in graveyards. Alright. How are we going to sideboard? I think we're probably going to juke. Is he sleeping? Is he in the wrong corner again? I moved, the, I moved the camera three times, and every time he's gone to the opposite corner. Zippy. Zippy, wake up. Hi, Zip. Zippy, wake up. The people, they want to see you. They don't want to see Jim. They want to see you. He's just not having it. Yeah, he's a little bastard. All right, so there's that free murderous rider we gave him. Uh, I made the chicken. Sweet. I, I like chicken. It. But it's not parmed yet. I feel like chicken tonight. But there like will be chicken tonight. There's chicken like cutlets chicken tonight. in the fridge. Remember, I don't get off till six. So I'm not gonna be home till like seven. All right. Okay. Um. Hi, no, no meatloaf today. <laughs> chicky, chicky, parm, parm. One, two. Th I feel like this doesn't go good for us, no matter what happens. <laughs> um. We could like. Oh, they're playing the Felidar just to beat the pack? Yeah. That's I assume that he has uh, seal in his deck, too. But, um, so we can, like... Have a good stream. We, just, we just discard this and just loot and activate the gate of the afterlife and just hope we can do something cool here. Our graveyard isn't even good, unfortunately. That's yeah, still bad. Another mountain. All right. Um, you can just like tuck the God Pharaoh's gift anyway, but I suppose we can cast it pretty soon. Get back. Um, I'll be instigator. I guess neonate attacks better. Cliff jumper, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. get back neonate we can attack to fairy the pack goes off again next turn Ugh. we're super we're super dead this game honestly jim from phoenix arizona what's up jim yeah i mean pretty big tilt Prospector. I don't think it matters much anymore, honestly. I mean, no red lands yet, and a lot of uh, a lot of basics here. I mean, they could triple block, which is fine, I guess. You get to kill something. I'll just go to the next game. All right, tough game there, tough game. Our hand was pretty bad. We drew both God Pharaoh's gifts. We mulliganed and drew multiple uh, Gate to the Afterlife. Couldn't draw enough creatures. We also misclicked our uh, our early thingy, which kind of sucks. So that's okay. I think we're gonna juke. Um, we're gonna board out our graveyard stuff and board into like a more fair strategy. Uh, let's bring in uh, the fair crew. And I mean, like, do I want Rending Volley for Feldar Guardian? Are we actually afraid of Sahili? We have answers to Sahili. We have Firebrand and, and Siege Gang, I guess. Um, I guess Crater Maker is just like bad. All right, let's try this. So we're gonna juke and see how this game goes. Squid Max says, how do we submit a deck for your deck live? Uh, it's currently subs only because we're beta testing it right now, but it's going to go live really, really soon. Um, I have all the details worked out. I'm just thinking that I'm probably going to have it go live after the Invitational. I leave for the Invitational in like about a, about a week and a half, and I don't want to uh, 
get all crammed up besides practice practice. So I would say it's going to be live for the public after the Invitational, after SGCon in two weeks. I right, can keep this. Your Deck Live is a show where I play Your Deck live on stream. Uh, it was called Donation Bonus Leagues. It is now called Your Deck Live. Uh, let me just get in, I guess. And uh, I'm, we're actually doing a Your Deck Live right after this. Uh, we're doing Bogles and Pioneer for Goober. And it's a double dip, which means it's a Your Deck Live, and then we, do, we play the deck again a second time. After, after fixing it up. So it's going to be sweet. That's after this. Assault, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. All right, we're firing up here. Show me the push. I got, I got another copter, so... Doesn't have it. Love it. All right, we're going to loot and pitch this Chain Whirler. It's probably our worst card. I think I want to keep Siege Gang. The salt's from the pits of hell. Damn. That's metal. No land kind of stinks, but... Why is there always a red zone? Because I made it that way, so when people follow, it's always in the red zone. Oath of Kaya. Kaya! This is actually sick, though, because we have Instigator for double double Copter. This is dope. We also have Warboss, too. We draw land. We do not draw land. All right, this is still fine, though. Warboss would have been sweet, too, but... Ah! Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Some of our copters so good. All right, there's our castle, Ember Hearth. I think I just pitch Prospector here. It's like the worst card by a lot, as far as power level goes. And do I want to pitch another copter? Two copters is pretty good. I doubt that Jeff will be able to kill both copters. Let me just discard the copter. We have Warboss lined up too. We have Siege Gang lined up, so feeling pretty good here. Get to the Chopper. Up. So yes. All right. So Feldar Guardian flickering Othakaya is pretty nice, and now we're scared of just dying to Sahili, but uh, our hand does not really afford us the ability to play around that, so. Yeah, I mean, we're just shipping here. Uh, beginning combat. We want our own beginning combat set. So, go to beginning combat. Resolve this. Crew. Go get them, buddies. Discard the land. Discard the land. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if, if, if Jeff has Sealy here, it's pretty lame, but whatever. Yeah, I think my initial impressions of, of, of Pioneer are I would like to see Nick those and Feldar Guardian go. Um. That's like my only my only two cards that, that really stand out to me is like being kind of like eh, like the Feldar Guardian decks are getting better and better. The the Mono Green Devotion decks are like already reasonable. Nope, I mean Nykthos it is a hundred percent Nykthos. It is not Nessa. This is fine. What is this? It's a fairy hero of Dominaria. Alright. They're gonna tuck a copter. Alright. Sure. Uh, Goblin Ringleader. Hey buddy. Um We're gonna hold on to Siege Gang. We just ringleader here and then attack for a lot. I'm gonna attack them. I'm gonna bother attacking Teferi, I don't think. Actually, I could just kill Teferi, I guess. Yeah, I'd probably just kill Teferi. Let's just see uh, what this turns up. 
if they have Sahil, we can't play around it because even if the even if if Jeff had it last turn and was playing around like a shock or something, if we're in the spot where we're gonna win next turn, he's just gonna go for it anyway. So. We, Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, pretty huge tilt there to whiff on a ringleader when half our deck is hits, but sure, I guess. Um, we're going to fire up... Fire up Copter, move to combat, and see how things look. Um... We attack, they're at six, they block this, take two, four, figure to one. So you can put them to one, or we can kill Teferi and have them gain some life. Chip, five month reset, welcome back. Um, God, that sucks. Mentor doesn't do it. Still one short. We have three two twos, a one one, and a three three. They're effectively at six, and they block a two two and take five. You go to one. And I only put it into one actually matters. So attack them. Attack them. Attack them. Attack to fairy. Attack to fairy. Target the token, sure. Uh, yes, yeah, trigger that, trigger that. Loot, tilt. This costs three to activate, so. So now we're in a spot where like, assuming they don't have Sahili, they don't have anything else going on, they're dead on board. And if um, if we if they have wrath, we have siege gang. If they don't have wrath, we probably win. So this is a mute vault too. So all right, so they're gonna block the the one one to kill it and go to four. It's fun. Marty, Marty with the raid, appreciate that. You haven't seen Marty stream? Check it out. Banning Sahili is fine. Just ban one of the cards, whatever. Crew copter off, off the new token. Attack with all. Activate castle hits for lethal. I don't think so. Maybe. It's a very time raveler. So if I add... Make a token. We're going to bounce Oath of Kaya. Sure. Maybe it's lethal. I don't know. So, oh, the guy had to kill war boss. Um, do we have lethal now? Four. It looks like lethal to me. Fire up this. Smuggler's copter, so good! Alright, so I think it was lethal anyway, honestly. We, we just had like, we had four and then three, so it didn't really matter. We didn't, we didn't need the Muta Vault. We're playing four Ember Earth for reason. The card's super sweet. Alright, that was cool. So I think we, we didn't get Feldar Guardian comboed. Uh, no Graveyard 8. No Graveyard 8. Um, do we want to grind? We had, we had lethal last turn? Alright, oopsie. Um, maybe I want Rending Volley now. Um, probably. Yeah, I think we're just going to stay fair and play Rending Volley. And we'll cut, like, the some of the, the Chain Whirlers, which aren't particularly great here. Now our Goblin Count's a little lower, though. Um, so now we have 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... 
26 is a little lower than I'd like to be. Um, maybe we like just bring in two volleys. I don't ever want to draw two. Um, yeah, let's just try this. I was like, I, I doubt Jeff's playing the full force of Healy's. It's probably just like a side plan to win later. So let's do this. I'm still assuming some sort of graveyard hate's coming in. So rest in peace or something like that. Um, uh, same place and keep this. Choked a statuary thought sees. No? No thought sees. Right. I mean, you're probably getting fatal pushed, but I think that's fine. Makes our smuggler's copter more safe. Westminster, five month resale. Welcome back. All right, you've drawn another land. That is very bad. Don't deferry bounce copter. Thank God. Fanatical Firebrand. Uh, sure. If Jeff has two fatal pushes here, I'll be really, really sad. Nope. Uh, oops. Stop. Maybe, maybe, maybe he does. No, we don't. Let's go. This copter's huge. Our hand's so bad. Small gorge copter is the bomb. We're also like pretty well insulated against Wrath here, too. Mutavault, copter. Kaya! It's fine. Goblin Ringleader, don't let me down. It's freaking Mog Monday. Alright? I need your help, my friend. You're my buddy. My buddy. God damn it. Bow my courier and copter going to the bottom. Loot says rending volley. Oh no. Alright. Um we'll ship Prospector. The reason to keep Prospector would be because if Prospector and Siege Gang in play, we can beat the combo, but now you have rending volley, so I'm just gonna keep that. I would not be surprised if we get Feldar Guardian next turn. Feldar Guardian flickering Othakaya. So Prospector is by far our weakest card, too. Real Big Fish is great, but the Salad Song gets played out after a while, you know. Alright, there's Felder Guardian. Short. So, I like that we, um, we get to a play ring leader, attack, and leave up Rending Volley, and... Doesn't look sketch at all. There we go. That's a much more Mog Monday esque hit. That's what I'm talking about here on Mog Monday. Make it up for lost time here. Um, oh boy, what a pitcher. This is turn uh, turn five. Made a lander every turn. I definitely want the land for next turn. Um, I kind of want Prospector too, though, honestly. Wow. This hand's something else. Um, falls, resub. Hunt, error, 404. Goose not found. Three thirds elk located. What's up, Falls? Thanks for your sub. Appreciate that. I think it's Instigator. Let me just F6 here. The full seven. Come on, Sahili. Bring the Sahili. It's a fairy. All right. Bouncing Smuggler's Copter. Right. And another Othakaya Tilt. Alright, this isn't actually that bad. 
Alright, so we're just gonna kill the, uh... Oh, duh. I'm an idiot. I'm real stupid. I forgot about the fairy. I, I hadn't decided I was gonna do it or not yet, so I wasn't, that's, not, that's fine, but... Alright, so we're gonna war boss, kill Teferi, kill the kill the, the Feldar Guardian, and play Copter. We can do all that, right? Yeah. The thing is, I hadn't decided if I wanted to kill the kill the Guardian yet until they actually played Oath of Kaya. So it kinda changes things. So only two cards left. Uh, we're feeling pretty good here. We are certainly gassed up. Might be in range of a siege gang here, but probably just ringleader next turn. Zipster's awake. Prophetic Prism, you got it. Oath of Kaya number three? Eh, it's pretty good, but it's fine. Um, I suppose we need to be aware of just playing Sahili and Feldar Guardian in the same turn, but... Hmm... So you could just play Siege Gang here and play Prospector, and then we're defended against the Healy. If they have a Wrath, we still get to shoot them. Um, I think I kind of like that. I should have played the land. Maybe I should have played the land. I don't even know. Whatever. I'll just fire up here first, see what happens. It also puts a, well, a lot of damage to play with the uh, the castle next turn, so our hand's really good, but we're going to loot anyway. Yeah, we'll just shift the instigator. Isolate my Skirk Prospector. That's cute. Um, sure, I guess. All right, whatever. So, if Sahili is in hand and he, and he draws Feldar Guardian, we're dead. But, what are we going to do? It's a fairy, sure. Probably bounce Othakaya here and kill my Siege Gang. We have Castle Emberhearth and a bunch of tokens in play, which is fine, so... I mean, sacking doesn't matter. Having the card in the graveyard doesn't matter at all. So, all right. Um, Rending volley is kind of nice. That makes me feel really safe. Um, can I? Yes, I can. I can Ember Hearth and War Boss. The red's right here for Sealy. Um. Then I can't leave up Rending Volley, though. Maybe I don't even bother Ember Her thing. Maybe we just actually just, uh, we go one, two, three, Muta Vault, and leave up, uh, leave up, um, Rending Volley. That's, that's, oops. That's super nitty. We get to attack for, it's plus five damage. It's two, four, six, and we're gonna attack the fairy anyway. Yeah, let's just war boss. Wait. Crew. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve at the face. And they gain two. Alright, whatever. We'll let them have it if they have Sahili and Senfeld our Guardian. Um
If their hand is exactly Sahelia and they draw exactly Feldar Guardian, so be it. Another Ringleader? Jeez. Cast for days. It's just wrong. It's like, we're so far ahead this game. Why even bother risking it, you know? Yeah, it's probably wrong, but whatever. I think it's fine. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're so far ahead, I could have just played around it. That's very fair. We could have just, like, played Ringleader or something. or just attack. We could have attacked a Mutaval and not pumped and done an extra... We could have, like, done, like, four less damage but still won, so... 4-0! Streamer Showdown. Did we get a 5-0 on Mog Monday? How hype would that be? A little 5-0 on Mog Monday? Maybe? Maybe? We are 4-0 and so far. Mog Monday. 4-0. God Pharaoh's Gift, brought to you by bcwsupplies.com. Number one source for all your game shopping needs, um, for all your supply shopping needs. Carb, I, I'm like a broken machine, just hitting the wrong buttons. BCW Supplies, your game supply needs are BCW Supplies. Check it out, their Elite 2 deck guard sleeves. You gotta protect your Pioneer cards, all right? You gotta protect those Goblin Instigators and those Cranko 10 Street Kingpins. Keep them safe. All right, keep them safe. Even Zibby's excited about bcwsupplies.com. Check them out. The sleeves are amazing. Buy yourself a six pack of sleeves with my promo code. They're like $6 a pack for the 100 packs. Buy a, buy a box six, keep it in your room, grab a pack when you need it. Don't buy sleeves for like $14 at a tournament, all right? It's a waste of money. Check out the Elite 2 Deck Guard sleeve. Check out their lockers. Their binders are fantastic. Check it all out at bcwsupplies.com. Use promo code JIM10 for 10% off your order. bcwsupplies.com. Let's go. We're just waiting for the match here. Also, this is brought to you by Cardboard Live. Cardboard.live, you see the overlay on the screen right now? Do you see that great deck list on the screen? Yeah, that's courtesy of Cardboard Live. The future of cardboard game entertainment, uh, changing the way you look at magic on the internet. Uh, cardboard Live is the bomb. Pretty simple. And uh, they're still in beta. If you're a streamer, uh, get involved with them. Email James. Get involved with Cardboard Live now before they get super, super huge. You'll soon be able to buy cards right off the stream. It's going to be awesome. Check it out, Cardboard Live. All right? Check it. Even Zibby's awake for the uh, for the 5-0 here. God, the God Pharaoh's plan has been very good, yes. We turned three to God Pharaoh's Gift on the play and brought back a Krenko, attacked for five, made five tokens, and our opponent conceded on the spot. Scoop. Right, Zibby? What do you think, Zibster? We get a 5 0. <laughs> He's out of here. He's out of here. He's like, I ain't jinxing nothing. I ain't jinxing nothing. Um, yeah. Also, a reminder to follow me on Twitter, at Jim Davis MTG. And if you ever miss a Mog Monday, well, first off, here you go. Follow me on Twitter. Zibby of the Week. Zibby of the Week. Everyone loves Zibby of the Week. If you ever miss a Mog Monday, they always go up on. on Monday afternoon, Monday evening on my YouTube, right? Check out the YouTube, new video every single day. And if you're watching on YouTube, like, follow, subscribe. Hit all those buttons, all right? Those uh, metrics are important. Hit those buttons. Let's go. Going for 5-0. On the play. Great hand. Keep. Do you lead on Prospector or Neonate? My Prospector. This is exciting. We have not had a, not had a 5-0 on uh, Mug Monday yet. I don't, I know I'm jinxing it by saying I'll always talk about it, but now I'm going to jinx the jinx by talking by, by talking about the jinx. I need to call poison my water. It's been nice knowing y'all. Sorry everyone. I love you. I'm okay. I swear. All right. Um, we're gonna prospector because if they show us like devotion or something, we can just jam Cranko on turn two on the play, which is actually really good. So, mountain found a goblin mirror here on Mog Monday. Wow. Say it ain't so. Uh. All right. We're going to copter and say go. We're definitely the defensive deck here. 
So, uh, we're just going to say, yeah. Godwin Mira for the 5 0. You literally can't make this stuff up. I'm playing this deck next week on Mog Monday. Like the Founder Shoes Den Denizen Embercleave deck. But I want to have some more fun. So, ooh. Rootbound Crag? Burning Tree Emissary? Okay, never mind. This is not a Goblin deck. This is like a, uh, a Bushwhacker deck. All right. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Um, Firebrand's not bad. Firebrand's not bad. Playing Krenko, I mean, it's probably going to die to a shock. But... Hmm... Could fire up the copter and just like see what they want to do. See if they want to trade copters or not. Then we could just fire brand the denizen. They could definitely have a, tar have a Tarkus command, so we need to be aware of it, like uh, of the combat trick. Uh, playing Krenko. I don't think I love playing Krenko. Just, if he gets shocked, it's just disastrous. Let's um. Yeah, you know, let's fire up and see what happens. See so yeah, how they want to approach this. We need to loot too, obviously, which is pretty nice. So definitely a matchup where if we get God Pharaoh's gift in play, we'll probably win. So looking for a, a gate at the afterlife is pretty nice. Another firebrand? Alright, let's ship the neonate, I think. We could ship Cranko. Maybe ship Cranko. Because if we draw a gate of the afterlife, then the neonate's really good. We'll just ship Cranko. Like, they're probably just playing Shocks, and Cranko's never going anywhere, so. Alright, they are not blocking. So, let's just ship everything, I guess. Right? And do we want to kill the the Denizen? Like, right now? I don't think so. We're 4-0, folks. We're going for the old 5-0. Let's see if we can do it here on Mog Monday. Castle Ember Earth, really good magic card. Get to the chopper. Sure. Discard Stomping Ground, sure. Man, some of our is so good. Let's just draw Gate of the Afterlife. Wow, nothing? Damn. That is wild. Goblin Instigator. That's pretty good. Um, maybe just fire up here. Fire it up. Fire it up. Send it with these two fools. I could have, like, Fiery Temper or something to kill my Smug Wars Cop there, but that would suck. They have four cards in it and didn't play anything. That's kind of weird. Yeah. A oh, double wild slash? Alright, that's fun. I don't think I mind that, honestly. Man, we really want to draw Castle Ember Earth. Like, so bad. So yeah, that Cranko is uh not looking too not looking too good. All these shocks floating around. Fantasy update. Goblin's overpowered. Who would have thought? Alright, they're firing on the copter. It's fine. We need something here. We, we're we currently... Our hand is not made. With copter dead, we gotta find ourselves a... Let's try to cast Lumber Hearth, sure. Uh, God Pharaoh's Gift. Even God Pharaoh's Gift, we could just cast it. Honestly, just sack three goblins and cast it. So we gotta find Gate of the Afterlife or God Pharaoh's Gift. Or I guess another copter is fine. Or Siege Gang is fun. Mute Vault's not fine. Uh, do I want to ship the the Neon H to draw a card here? Could also just attack with like my one ones, and they block. Just trade two for one. It seems really bad. I think I was gonna ship Neon Eight. I'll attack first, but. 
I guess I could just kill their creatures. So they can't crew. Maybe, maybe I should attack with these two also. Maybe I should have just killed the... Uh, that's great. Killed the, the denizen. Alright, we're going to kill this now, I guess. We'll play Mute Vault. I think we'll sandbag the courier so they don't, they don't know about it. Monastery Assist Spear, sure. And a Whacker, sure. It's plus one plus O, oh, right? Sure. And a crew. Alright, that's all fairly reasonable, I guess. I mean, if they have a shock here... Things are a little ugly. I could just block the dragon fodder. Alright. I can just block the spear and shoot this 2 1. I'm gonna mute a vault. If we get to core your next turn, it's actually pretty nice. So let's block here and block here and just shoot the 2 1. Alright, so they didn't, have, they didn't have a shock, but that's fine. All right, untap, draw. God, God damn it! The turn after I sack my goblins and, and sack my land, I draw God Pharaoh's gift. God, what a tilt! Unbelievable. All right. Um. God, that sucks so bad. Just brutal. Just brutal. We could have cast this this turn, make Franco for ten goblins. God no. Why are you like this? Ugh. Let me just swing out. I don't want anything to die because I want to be able to God Pharaoh's gift if I draw a land. So I'm not blocking. Whatever, just go for it. Just brutal. Just brutal. Hard cast Reckless Bushwhacker. Sure. Alright, so they're going to come in for five here. I mean, we're pretty close to dead. Just to the copter, but... I mean, a Cranko attack is pretty insane. Any land. Sweet. Alright, so now we get to... Cranko and just hope we don't die. They are currently one short of killing us. Get back, crank up. Attack. Alright, don't kill me, opponent. We're dead to a lot of things here. I can't look. I can't look. This is bad. I mean, they are looting, so. No shock, no wild slash, please. Discarding. Oh my god, the tension. Why didn't they discard their card yet? Oh my god. I'm so tense. Discard a mountain. No blocks. Um, they have four blockers. Draw a castle. Should I select the courier here on my upkeep? No, I should just draw a card. Instigator? Okay. Uh, I mean, Neonate has uh, Menace. They should probably be dead. So we have this many attackers block here. Double block the 4-4, four, four, block a 1-1, one, one, it's exactly 5. Yeah, I think you're just dead. Um, I'm going to get a post-combat courier too, so... This looks good to me. Insolent Neonate, being sneaky. A little menace action.
I misclicked. Well, no one said 5 0 on Mog Monday would be easy. Um, I got I got arena again. I went to hit the to like the go button to attack with everything. Oh my god, it's so stupid. All right, I don't know what I can actually draw here to not die, so don't think it's anything. Ah, that place. Never mind. We're back in the game, folks. So you're telling me there's a chance. Hold. Loot. Discard Soul Scar Mage. Make sure I actually block. Put a card in the graveyard. Dilt. Okay, still alive. All right. Whew. Never punished. Never ever punished. Um. So now. They're probably dead, right? Probably get back courier. Yeah. So let's not click this wrong this time. Get back Bowman courier. Why am I in combat immediately? I guess I'm just not. This is I. I had to stop being in combat and then I removed it. All right, attack with everything. Make a million tokens. They have to double block this thing. Block the 4-4 four four and block the 5-5. Five five. They might still be alive. Top Mystical, how's it go, my friend? Nope, they're at exactly one. So now I can uh, itch Courier and try and draw Firebrand. All right, so they're at one. Uh, Firebrand, Bowman Courier. Firebrand, no. All right, so please don't draw a Shock or a Wild Slash. No! I'm not looking, it's not happening. No! Ugh. Oh, come on! Deep breath. Deep breath. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Alright. So I blew it. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I can win 3-0. It's not a problem. Um, They're probably going to have like a braid and maybe like other graveyard hate too. Uh, do I want to just go... Um, out of the graveyard plan. Chain Whirler seems awesome. Um...
What do we think? What do we think? We clearly want Chain Whirler. Bring in the fair plan. Or stay with the God Pharaoh's gift plan. We're on the play, too. Yeah, I think I want to go fair. Um, problem is the war bosses are also bad against Shock, but I guess they're better than the Krenkos are. Yeah, I think we're going to go fair for game two on the play. Let's see what kind of sideboard cards they bring in. And then we'll re revive it for game three. I think on the play with Chain Whirlers, we should be in pretty good shape. Um, so on the, we're going to go for the fair plan on the play in game two. And then on the on the draw in game three, we'll go back to our gate, the afterlife plan, I think. God, what a, what a roller coaster that game was. Just misclick. The surefire win, crawl back into it, only to have them top deck the shock at the last possible turn on one life. I mean, their burn spells aren't good. They have shocks. They're, those, those burn spells are creature removal spells, not player removal spells. Sounds good. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's 11 already? Jeez, this is a long league. Put a ball against the six. You love to see it. God, what a sick game. All right. Boko. Yes, yeah, so we were very close to unpunting. Unfortunately, it was not to be. War boss isn't bad either. Ship in courier. Sure. It's fine by me. Makes the uh, war boss look pretty good. This kills copter. That's pretty good, actually. I didn't realize this is an Autocopter too. That's why that's why we're playing this card because it kills artifacts. Okay. Uh, I mean, maybe I should have played the Muna Ball. And now we're playing this. It doesn't matter, but... This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Laces out, Marina. <laughs> Yeah, killing Copter's nice, so... Well, the thing is that if if I play War Boss, they have an opportunity to draw a card to kill my Chain Whirler. I mean, to kill my Crater Maker, so I can't kill Copter. I think Copter is so important that we just must kill it. So, like, we can beat them on the ground all the time. All day we beat them on the ground. With our Ringleaders and Siege Gangs and whatever. But in the air... They can definitely beat us, and Copter is just so good anyway. I want to guarantee I kill it this turn. Mog Monday, Mog Monday. This is game. Match five, we're four and zero. We are down a game. We punted a surefire win by misclicking in game one. Going for the first ever five zero on Mog Monday. Burning Tree emissary resolves. Goblin or Reckless Bushwhacker resolves. Trigger on the stack. No crew. They seem to have figured out that we can kill their smuggler's copter. Well, we're just killing it anyway because we're going to tap out next turn, so. Um, they have a shock, it's annoying, but. 
Goblin Instigator. Oh, sweet. That is dope. That's a terrible play from our opponent. With our, we have so many cards in hand, we're never going to be uh, cracking that thing soon. That's sweet. Get him, War Boss. Searing Blood? <clears throat> That's pretty good. Uh, Castle Ember Earth. Yeah, they have their Searing Blood. I think we just play Ringleader and say go. Lead back two blockers. Um, yeah. Big money. All right. All right. Don't have another searing blood. That's fine. Um, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That definitely... So now we're at three. Jeez. This is uncomfortable. This is definitely uncomfortable. I love every Jewish Trader Maker, though, because now I have an answer to answer Copter. This thing does three, right? Jeez. We gotta kill them pretty quickly here. God, it's tilt. I'm gonna draw like a land or two, honestly. Emissary, short. Just don't have a whacker. Firebrand. So we can like just flood the board here with crappers. I guess I'm cool with that. We are like putting them pretty close to dead. I guess if I flood the board with shitters, they have a chance to just like draw uh, a chain whirler and kill us, which would really suck. So maybe I should not. Just play. I was gonna play Instigator, Prospector, Firebrand. Maybe I just play Crater Maker, Prospector, Firebrand, and then I, st I still die Chain Roller anyway. All right. I guess we're just gonna die Chain Roller this turn. That's fine. We have Castle, so we get to kill him next turn. So. Yeah, even with Crater Maker, we still die to. Uh... But no, we don't. We just block. We just block one and kill one. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, uh, uh, I can't though. It's the prospector. I would need. To, I would need. I would need to. I would need to. Yeah, this is fine. Whatever. They kill me. They kill me. I think I. I have to give up too much to play around chain ruler next turn. Prospector plays around Steering Blood, yes. Which is very good. Sure. I believe they are dead. Firebrand also. So we have Castle Ember Hearth. They have one card in hand. If it's a shock, things are ugly. Um, if I attack with everything in Ember Hearth, uh, they are dead. I can also Firebrand and then sack a blocked goblin to Ember Hearth. I actually like that a lot because that way, um, that way I can post combat sack things to Prospector if I have to. I guess they have. They would block the prospector. They gotta block the bigger ones there, right? I'm just going for it. I 
Leroy Jenkins. So like they have to block the two biggest things. Then I castle. If they have a shock, they're still dead. So it doesn't matter. What's up, live? How's it going, my friends? You're sitting and welcome to the stream. Mog Monday. We're 4 and 0. We are down a game. Because we punted game one by misclicking. A game we were going to win on the spot. So we're trying to come back here and 5-0 is Mog Monday. And uh, we're not making it easy on ourselves, that's for sure. Alright, so they're gonna loot, which is fine. Funny enough, I'm gonna sacrifice the chain whirlers. I want the smuggler's copter to die. I guess I want that to die too, but no, I want, I want, I want to kill them though, so if things go wrong. God, Castle Ember Hurt is so good. All right, um, we saw zero graveyard hate, but we did see Searing Blood, which is kind of kind of gross. Oh, I got the first strike happened. That's true. That's true. That's true. Y'all right. Y'all right. I try any blue-white control variants? No. I think the white removal is terrible. All right. Game three on the draw. What do we do? Do we go for the God Pharaoh's? I'm just so scared of a braid. Because if we go for the, the God Pharaoh's gift and they have a braid, we are dead on the spot. We are completely dead on the spot. So... It scares the crap out of me. Honestly. They didn't, we didn't see a braid that game. We did see Searing Blood. Um, I mean, we just beat them in a fair game pretty easily. Like, um, like, I think we're pretty fine on a, in a fair game. We have, I think Chain Whirler's great. Um... Also, if we want to bring in the chain rollers, we get to like cut the crater makers. We gotta keep those in though. I'm, I'm running it back. We're just running it back. Goblin Ring Raider is gonna bring me to victory like he always does every time. It just it's just too big a risk, I think. The whole reason we have this sideboard plan is because for game two, they bring in a braids and graveyard hate, and we get to bring in our uh, our goblin plan instead. So they have dead cards. Except braids not dead, but Alright, here we are. God damn it. Don't you do this to me. Mulligan. All right, we're gonna keep. We're gonna ship a ringleader. Not a great hand. Definitely not a great hand. Soul Scar Mage. That's kind of a tilt. They have Goblin Chain Whirler. Uh, we are dead. Oh my god. Soul Scar Mages for days. Alright, please god don't Goblin Chain Whirler me. Gob Pharaoh's Gift? That's perfect. I love it. Dyslexic, I love it. Gob Pharaoh's Gift. Dragon fodder. All right. All right. And a castle ember earth. They could have shock too. <whistles> I think we're just taking it. This is a pretty good hand. It's not great, I guess. And like their deck seems fairly creature heavy, so like they kind of like need to prowess. This could be bad. Oh my god. Uh 
I guess we kill a one one. Christ. So we're gonna fire over some chump blocks here, I guess. This is bad. This is bad. We're just jumping. Um, I guess this is like this honestly isn't that bad. Like once the turn cycle ends, like their stuff shrinks. So like we're gonna go to eight. They have one card left. I guess they have Castle Ember Hearth, which is pretty brutal, but jeez. Alright, I mean, we're probably dead. Chain Whirler doesn't really do a ton. I don't know what they can draw. That's like not good for them here. It's like which activating castle is already good. So we're going to go to two. Oh, man. See you, Commander. Hold. The problem is that we're so far from winning this game that they're just going to draw shock in like the 10 turns we give them. Like we have to block, so. Blow me out with a spell, my friend. Most spells kill me anyway, so. Alright. So the castle, we trade off. And now we're like sort of at parity. Uh, that's, not, that's not bad actually. That's a card. So you're telling me there's a chance. Draw some mountains please. That's a wild slash. God damn it. Uh. Alright well. It's all my fault. I punted. We should have 5 0'd. I suck. Such a tilt. Such a tilt. Just misclick the attack step. For lethal in game one. Everyone throw stuff at me. I ruined Mog Monday. 4.5, 1.5. Yes, that's our record. 4.5 to 1.5. Oh, man. All right, whatever. Throws a chair, throws everything. Just throwing things around. Just throw stuff. Mess up my desk. I know, I know. Well, that's okay. That was super fun, honestly. Um, I like our little cyborg juke. Um, we had a turn three God Pharaoh's gift, which was awesome. Um, deck felt pretty good. The neonates weren't amazing, but they were. I think they're they're probably necessary as part of the God Pharaoh's gift package. Uh, Krenko is cool. We get to Krenko. Godfarez gets a few times. <clears throat> Siege Gang's great. Um, DK, two month reset. Welcome back, my friend. That's month number two, the most important month. It means you can just come back. Thank you. Overall, that was super sweet, though. That was super sweet. Uh, Castle was great. Mutavolt Vault was great. Um, yeah, that's Mog Monday. I'll take 4 1 on Mog Monday. I'll take it. You know, we'll take it. We'll take what we can get. So. That's Mod Monday. We got more magic to play, though. We got some deck techs to do, and then we got some uh, Your Deck Lives to do as well. So, if you missed any of this Mod Monday, of course, you can watch it on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube right now, like, subscribe, follow, hit all those buttons. And, um, and yeah, we'll play some more Mod Monday next Monday, of course, where we're going to try out Embercleave, I think, in Pioneer. That's the tentative plan for next Mod Monday. So, for all you Mod Monday folks, I love you. We got more stuff to do, though, so don't go nowhere, okay? YouTube.